we take a case study on CS302 that is software engineering and look into how to write course outcome. Before that, let's try to look into what exactly is the course outcome. Course outcomes are the statements that describes what students are expected to know and be able to do at the end of the each course. So we'll take an example of software engineering. This is the, the course planning that we are using this time. Let's try to look into the syllabus. How did we wrote course outcome, course objectives for this? This is software engineering CS307. The objective of this particular course this course is at undergraduate level for 48 contact hours to make a student know the process of software system development and develop software system using engineering techniques. Let's try to look into different outcomes. At the end of the course, the student should be able to identify various system requirements and build system specification report to solve real life problems in various domains and develop domain expertise. So here we focus on an ability of a student to identify requirements, building reports and developing a domain expertise. The second course outcome is conceptualize the system through design and modeling the following with quality and standards, system architecture, component and process. The third course outcome is develop a software system using industry relevant tools for analysis design development and testing properties of programming language for system development and testing and engineering techniques the fourth course outcome is manage the project in terms of project risk project configuration version management project cost and project resources Last course outcome is validate and verify the given system. So this is how we write the course outcomes. All these course outcomes are measurable. We have to set the question in question paper based on these things. Now when we write all these things, we need to look into The different levels of learning maybe remembering is at the lowest level where you try to memorize and reproduce it understanding you understand and transform your knowledge reproduce in your own way acceptable to others the third level is applying your knowledge so you apply your knowledge in solving real problems which may include analysis, creating design, evaluating solution space, optimizing the things, multiple things. So at what level you expect your student to be trained, right? At this, looking at this learning patterns, you need to define the course outcome and accordingly your teaching learning process has to go. So let me summarize this. This is the details of the course of engineering we are using this time course objectives course outcome prerequisite reference books then contents This is how it goes. And as a part of a continuity of course planning, okay, let me cover other things also here. This is the course planning, how do we cover and the portion for the syllabus, I mean portion for the CAT 1, CAT 2 and CAT 3 reference books. Then also we tell about, okay, our game plan CT assessment, how do you do? 
kind of assessment how do we do and some exam finally how the grading is done then type of questions object to type fill in the blanks stating true or false match the following descriptive type depending on the type of examination and weightage as defined by the office of the dean academic program let's look at one example here here is a question what is refactoring explain of the example you are simply memorizing and picking an example given in the book and you write it so when you write this answer it doesn't mean that that you know how to do the refactoring you know what is refactoring knowing what is refactoring is different and refactoring uh, given design is different so instead of asking this question like this you can very well ask the question identify the various quality issues that initiate refactoring for the given design whose requirements are as stated below apply refactoring in stages justify each and create the final class diagram so here is a requirement okay and you need to refactor this so try to focus on solving problems applying a knowledge rather than simply memorizing and reproducing what is learned in the class similarly we have some few questions that gives you certain tips for our uh, evaluation process examination process and also the classroom coverage see here what is cause effect graph what is use of that is the asking question right here is a problem description scenario is given to you and you need to develop cause effect graph for this here is a one real life situations the user interface is given and you have been asked to comment on the usability quality parameter of this and wherever the changes are required you are expected to do the changes and give a justification for the change requirement is the asking what is the usability explain of the example such a kind of questions that you get it it helps you to be ready for the industry so going back to the theme of today's topic once again that is defining course outcome the course outcome of this sort of engineering is clearly stated so the questions in the question paper you get it right here identifying system requirement building report developing domain expertise conceptualizing the system through design and modeling system architecture component process developing software systems use of tools use of programming language properties engineering techniques managing project risk configuration cost resources validate and verifying the given system so this focuses more on doing the things rather than simply memorizing and reproducing so i hope that you are okay you have understood how to write course outcome for given course course outcomes are nothing but the statement that describing what students are expected to know and be able to do at the end of each course let's try to look at the, the evaluation guidelines of nba the old version 2009 where an example illustration is also given on how to write a course objectives and course outcome this evaluation guidelines is available in nba site website and uh, if you look at that the people who have prepared all those things committee comprising of different people from iits and other premier institutions organizations so here they have also illustrated this objectives and outcome let's try to look into this here is an example for mechanical engineering engineering mechanics 
contribution to the outcomes this course used assigned reading lectures and homework to enable the student to use engineering science principles to develop algebraic relationship among the key physical parameters and variable based on analysis of specified system understand and apply newton's laws to problems problems systems consisting of rigid bodies in equilibrium and particles in motion use references that provides tabulated physical data that are useful to mechanical engineers write simple programs to solve more complicated problems and to study the effect of system parameters here are many examples given by nba authorities who created guidelines here is an example for chemical engineering so you can refer these documents which are available in nba portal website they have also defined they are given an illustration on how to write a program educational objectives program outcomes so you can have a look into this so with this we come to the end of this particular session session on how to write course outcome a case study on software engineering for any details you can contact me at upkulkarnyatyao.com alternatively at mobile number 9448915301 thank you